Hello and welcome to Hobbycraft, the home of good ideas. My name's Hannah and today I'm going to show you how to make this super cute bow bunting. And the great thing about it is it's all made from card so you don't need any sewing machines, it's all just gluing. So what you're going to need is you're going to need about 10 sheets of A4 card. You can use any colour pattern you like, obviously we're using the red, white and blue theme, so we've got that here. I've got this lovely little dotty pattern on here. Um, you need some ribbon, you're going to need 10 metres worth of ribbon and you need to have about one centimetre in width on that ribbon. And finally you're going to need some of these little paper trims that are available from many Hobbycraft stores. So first things first, what we need to do is you need to download the template from the Hobbycraft website of the bunting shape and then cut that out of mount board. It just makes it easier when repeating a pattern over and over again. Then. We need to draw this onto the back of a sheet of our card. So just grab a pencil, draw around the outside, and then we're just going to cut that out with a pair of scissors. And as you can see, it's just a really quick, lovely way to make bunting. And you know, it's just so much easier than sewing bunting. So this is just a lot quicker and a lot easier. And it's a really fun one to do with the kids. So, now we've cut our shape out, just get rid of that for the moment. We need to score this line here so we get a really neat fold. So you need to take a metal ruler, just place it over the top of there, and then open up your scissors and just draw that down, that line there. And as you can see there, if you just fold it over, it's got a lovely, clear, crisp line. You just finish it with your nails. So, what we're going to do now is decorate our paper bunting. Now the best way to do this obviously is with these lovely little bits of trimming that you can get from the Hobbycraft store. So I'm going to use a few of these on here. So I quite like that one, quite like a little bit of a dotty one. So we take our clear glue and we just glue those down. So just run a line along the back. Now don't worry about the overhang on these because we'll trim that off later. So we just glue along there and stick that down. Now you need to leave that a couple of seconds just to dry off. We'll just turn this over and we'll just open this up again. Now what you need to do is you need to take your ribbon and cut about 50 centimetres of ribbon and mark where the middle line is just with your fingers like that. Just squeeze it and line it up with the back of your bunting. Then run a line of glue along the back there and then along the other side there and place that middle squash bit in the middle of your bunting and then just fold that over and hold it down. There we go. And we turn this back over and hopefully that should be dry enough for you to cut it away. So taking your scissors just trim off any extra ends you have. And then you just repeat this 20 times with your pieces of card and that will give you about 4 metres worth of bunting. So now we've made our piece, I'll take another piece which is a different colour and we just tie those up together and we just tie a little bow in between the two which just makes it a little bit more unusual and super super cute. So just trim off the ends that we don't want. And you just continue with this all the way around until you've got your four metres of bunting.